and the day will come across the word of the Lord. Just know that that day the Lord has something to reach out to me. So don't just try to hear what the man of God is about to say, but turn your heart and connect to the altars of the throne of grace in order to receive from the throne of grace. The Bible says, let he that come, let him believe that God exists. And by that belief, life will be transformed. Unto Jesus. Number two. Depend on him. Number two now, let me give you number two. Commit to prayer. Even in the midst of pain. Even in the midst of hopelessness. Even in the midst of despair. Commit to prayer. That is the second point. James chapter 5 and verse 13. James 5, 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray, the Bible says. Let him pray. When you see afflictions, you see despair, you see all kinds of things. He says to pray. It is difficult to pray when you are in pain. That is where spirituality is tested. Lord, I do not know what is happening, but I pray. I pray. Hallelujah. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 It says pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Pray without ceasing. Someone say prayer. Shout it again. Say prayer. Prayer. prayer is very, very powerful. When you do not know what to do, pray. It is in the place of prayer that direction comes. When you do not know what to do, pray. Pray even in the spirit. Pray in your understanding. I don't know where the solution to these bills will come from. There's already a death sentence around my life and my children health-wise. You do not know what to do. Pray. The Bible says the biblical recommendation for managing affliction is to pray. Man of God, pray. Businessman, pray. It does not take a certificate to pray. It takes hunger and passion and the recognition that there is a God that rules over the affairs of men. Say pray. pray. Commit to prayer. That is the second biblical key. Every time you do not know what is happening in your life, that is not the time to start running from pillar to post, discussing things with people who don't have the power to solve your problem. Can I tell you the truth? Running around will only deplete the energy that is left. Use that same energy, lock the door, and begin to pray. And sometimes, you honestly may not know how to pray. You may allow your tears to do the prayer. And while you sing, or you may allow prayer to just come from any material while you soak in the glory there pray 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 I thought I would get the job now this is the 10th year 15th year 5th year without a job pray someone in the hospital has already said forget about me just focus on the children as for me I am going pray Listen to what I'm telling you and please take it seriously. Pray. Man of God, since pandemic, it looks like your ministry just went down. The key is to pray. Discussion may be consoling, but you have to pray. You can pray yourself to comfort. You can pray yourself to faith. Prayer is like exercise. Nobody likes it, but you have to start. Once you start, something happens to you. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief together. What a privilege to carry everything to Most people will do any other thing but pray they will cry which is human and which is okay but they will not pray prayer has nothing to do with um, whether you have the appetite and the desire it is a requirement you must pray number three let's hurry up is God speaking to someone 
Number one, look to Jesus, meaning depend on him even when you do not understand him. The word trust is the word bata, trust in the Lord. That means to throw yourself at him, expecting him to hold you. And like the Hebrew boys, that even if you do not deliver us, O King, we have made a determination that as far as Jesus, as far as God is concerned, we will not bow. That's why you see conditional Christianity is dangerous. The kind of Christianity that says, God, I will only serve you based on the fact that you bless me. No. God is a covenant-keeping God, but our love for Jesus and our love for the things of the Spirit must be beyond the results that come. That even if I'm in the midst of fire and rescue does not come, let it be that I die trusting him. If you have not subscribed to this channel, do that to subscribe. And I always pray every declaration and prophecy that come to pass in your life.